Hey what's up guys so in this video I want to talk about 7 new software changes that Samsung has brought to Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic with One UI 5 and Wear OS 4. So let's get going and take a look at these new updates. The first thing that I want to talk about is how you can add more watch faces on the watch and they have completely overall this setting. So if you long press on the watch face and scroll all the way to the right you will see this option add new watch face tap on it and now you will see this new card based layout where you see all of these watch faces categorized so this is the card for graphical watch faces and you see all the graphical watch faces in this one card and then we have informative card where we have all the informative watch faces then we have samsung health watch faces classic simple basic and the downloaded watch faces from the play store it makes very easy to find the watch face that you're looking for instead of scrolling one by one so when you go on to add watch faces on galaxy watch 4 classic you find this scrolling menu on galaxy watch 4 classic whereas we have this card based menu system on galaxy watch 6 classic and you can see how easy it is to find what you're looking for on galaxy watch 6 classic with its bigger display and this card based menu system as compared to this old way and old scrolling menu system on galaxy watch 4 classic moving on to the next feature they have done the same thing with the tiles when you go on to add new tiles you will see these tiles or widgets as i like to call them in a similar card based menu system so here you can see this card menu system so we have all the widgets for clock then connected devices contacts maps they have been organized into these categories it's really organized now and neat and you can easily find what you're looking for also this has been changed from the previous scrolling menu system on galaxy watch 4 so when you go on to add more tiles on your galaxy watch 6 classic you will see a different menu system which is this scrolling menu system and here you have to scroll through all the tiles or widgets to find what you're looking for whereas this one is much more easier with categories and card based menu system and obviously as you will download more apps their supported widgets will appear in here in these cards as well next major update has come in the app drawer so here you can now actually create folders all you have to do is long press on an app and drag it over another one and just like on your phone it will create a folder and then you can add more apps by pressing this plus button to this folder and you can also change the color of this folder and finally you can also rename this folder i think this is a great way to declutter your app drawer on galaxy watch so you just have few folders here and all the apps in those folders and you can easily find what you're looking for whereas on galaxy watch 4 classic you cannot create folders like this moving on there is a new widget on galaxy watch 6 classic which i'm really liking and this widget is this battery widget or battery dial and this widget allows you to see the battery of your watch as well as your phone because your phone is connected to your watch and if you connect another device to your watch like galaxy birds the battery for them will also appear here so it's a really nice way to quickly glance and find the battery of your phone from your watch and keep an eye on it next up when you will go in the settings app on your galaxy watch 6 classic you will find a new setting and it's called battery and device care now this is just like you find on your phone we now have the same thing on the watch if you go in here it will tell you your device care it's great no issues found and then you have information about your battery storage and memory you can go in battery and here you can see your battery and which apps are using the battery the most you can turn on power saving mode read all about it here you can see your sleeping apps or you can also turn on the watch only mode then you can also go in storage and see how much storage is being hogged by images or audio or apps and watch faces and finally you can go and check your ram and here you can see which apps are taking most of the ram and you can also clear some ram from here so this setting is not found on previous galaxy watches so this is galaxy watch 4 if you go down you will only find the battery option and if you go in here just the battery settings and nothing else so this feature has been reorganized and in one place you can see everything 
related to battery and RAM and storage on your Galaxy Watch 6. Another great feature that has been added to Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, which is actually a pretty useful feature as well, is that now you can transfer your watch to new phone without resetting your Galaxy Watch 6. So go in settings, scroll all the way down to general and scroll down until you find transfer watch to new phone. So when you go in here, you will see the conditions to make this transfer without resetting the watch. The Google account on the watch and new phone must match. So that's the condition. If your Google account on the watch and the new phone matches, you can transfer the watch without resetting the watch. And if you're signed into a Samsung account on the new phone, that account will be used on the watch as well. So if these two conditions meet, you can transfer the watch to the new phone without resetting it. And finally, the last software update that I've noticed on Galaxy Watch 6 Classic is the new gallery app. So the gallery app has been overhauled as well. So now you see this menu system at the top. We have all our pictures here and then you also get albums. So in albums, just like your phone, your photos will be separated into folders. So we have screenshots here, pictures here, and then you can add more from your phone. And then finally, we also have the story mode on the watch. This feature was not available on gallery app on your watch. So if we go in the gallery app on Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, you will see that there is no menu system here, no albums, no pictures, no story. But we now have this new system in the gallery app on Galaxy Watch 6 Classic.